So which functions have the same graph? So what I'm trying to say with that is we can kind of tell these aren't going to have the same graph because they have completely different zeros. The question then is, is f like h or is f like k? Is g like h or is g like k? Which ones are identical? And there's a whole bunch of different ways to figure that out. The one you want to look for most is just simply look at the degrees. For instance, what's the degree of f? The degree of f, can you tell this is a third degree? The degree of g is a fourth degree. K is a third degree, and H is a fourth degree. Just by that, if we knew each one had a pair, can you tell which one is exactly like the other? So the first way we can tell if two functions are the same is look at the degrees. Look for the same degree. So, in this particular problem, are we okay that these are the same? And aren't these the same because of the degree? But what if the problem was more complicated and they gave you a whole bunch more possibilities? And we got to be more pre precise. So another way to tell if they are the exact same graph would be to FOIL Sorry, this probably cap FOIL stands for first outside inside last. But FOIL the factored form so it becomes the standard form. So if you simply FOIL this out with a whole bunch of boxes and FOILing, it would become that. If you did all the FOILing and boxes for this one, it'd become that. That one guarantees if it's the right one. It's going to take a whole lot longer, but it is an option. Yet another option. There's a whole bunch of different options. The third option we're going to throw out there is, could I simply plug in numbers to each until I find ones that have the same dots? So I could plug x values into each and see which have the same y values. So if I plug x values into each, so if I plug in 5 to this, if I plug in 5 to both of these, shouldn't the one that has the same graph have the same output at 5? So that is another way. You can simply plug numbers in one by one. And the last way we're going to talk about is using synthetic division. Can't you check if they have the same factors by synthetic division? You can check if they have the same factors or zeros using synthetic division. And if you use synthetic division to check, what you would notice is you're looking at these, and by doing it, you can check if the, you basically would check these zeros and see which ones produce in the other one that factor zero. And you can kind of backwards map which one's which. This is the best. These are all long, but there are other options to guarantee it's the right one. So let's look at this one now. We notice these are the same function because they're both third degree. All right, these two because they're both fourth degree. That was the easiest. Another way you can do it is look at this right here. If you FOIL this out, you will create that. And watch this. See right here? x plus 2 squared. So I FOILed out x plus 2 squared. I got this. Then I multiply this times that right here in this box, and the answer matches that. So a way to check which ones are the same is by foiling and doing boxes like this to match them. It takes a lot longer. Looking at the degrees is the best if you can quickly do it, but it's not perfect. You sometimes have to get more detail. Another option is to, well, look at this one. I put a negative 2 to the synthetic, 
and I found out it is a root. So negative 2 is a root to this. Now, where did I come up with negative 2? Well, I looked over here, and I went, okay, well, let's test one of these two roots. Oh, so negative 2. If I test it and come out 0, that's a good sign that this is the function, since this does not have a root at negative 2. The roots for this one are 5 and 0. So look over here. I tested 0 for this one, and it came out as a root. So because I checked the roots, I can verify these are the same, and these are the same. For this one, my roots are also negative 1 and positive 1. If I were to do the same thing with the negative 1 and positive 1 here, they should come out to be zeros down here. If I were to test 5 on this, for this, it should also come out to be a root. So you can test by using synthetic if certain ones are roots or factors of the other. One way I didn't talk about here is I could also just plug in numbers. I could plug in numbers here, 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 and here, and we find out which ones comes out with the same results. And when you plug in numbers here, you can actually use synthetic as well. Synthetic can plug in numbers for these really easily to solve. For these, you'd have to crunch it by hand.